Hi everybody, for the first Lightroom video of this year, I thought I'm going to take it back to basics and have a look at folders and Lightroom and how they work together. The big misunderstanding that a lot of people have is that your raw files, so these images for example, all raw files, that they live in Lightroom. They don't live in Lightroom, they live in a folder on your hard drive or on an external hard drive. Let me show you. I have connected over here, Master Raw 2017. That is my hard drive that I started with at the beginning of last year where I work off my raw files. So if I open this, I'm going to see Wildlife 2017. If I click on that, it shows me all the directories inside there. This is every trip that I did. I created a folder for and the images for that trip is inside that folder. So if I click on my Samara, there's all my raw files. You don't have to do this according to dates because you can sort that in Lightroom. So every trip that I do, I create this directory name. It works for me. 2017-02-feb-masamara because then my directory structure looks neat. Even if my Lightroom were to run away and disappear, I can still find exactly what I'm looking for. So now, that is my directory structure from last year. Watch this. If I go into Lightroom, I go to Folders, you'll see that Macintosh is lit up because that's the hard drive of this computer. Jerry Master Raw and Jerry 3 Terabyte are hard drives that I have from backups and old images that are not connected, therefore they don't light up in white. If I open it up, you can still see that is the directory structure should I plug this hard drive in. Makes sense. Now, Master Raw 2017 on. Let me show you again. That's the one over here that I've opened that looks like this. Yeah? If I now open that... I will see the same folder name. If I open that, I'm going to see exactly the same folder structure. That's the thing. Lightroom, if I click on my Samara here, Lightroom shows me all these images. If I go into my Samara on my hard drive and I click on here, it'll show me all the same images in there as well. Lightroom is obviously just a lot more friendly doing that. So if I come back over here, if I were to make a change to a folder name inside of Lightroom, let's choose Uganda for example. Watch, 217 6 June 2 Uganda. If I go over here, 217 June 2 Uganda. That's the same thing, right? That's the home base where the files live. They don't live in Lightroom. Lightroom is just reading them from this directory. I can now, if I want to, inside of Lightroom, right click on that name, say rename, and let's say Uganda was awesome okay and I hit save I've now changed the directory using Lightroom if I go back to my hard drive there's the new name so I used Lightroom to manage the folder watch what happens in reverse if I now right click on here and I rename this and I take it back to just Uganda it's correct on my folder on my hard drive if I open Lightroom it still says this because if you order Lightroom to do something, it does it automatically. Lightroom has not been ordered to check for an update on this name. So you'll see this folder now has a little question mark because Lightroom says to me, I can't find the folder with this name. All you do in that case is you right click, you say find the missing folder, and then you navigate to that folder, which is that one, and Lightroom then reconnects it, the, the question mark is gone. Okay, so you can rename folders from inside of Lightroom and you can reconnect folders from inside of Lightroom. But again, remember, these raw files that I'm looking at here, this raw file does not live inside Lightroom, it lives in a folder. And you can check that for yourself by right-clicking on the image and say show in Finder. If you're using a PC, it'll say show in Microsoft Explorer. If I do that, Lightroom will open up and it'll say here's that file. Let's have a look as Lightroom quickly just, as, as my computer just reads that raw file. There it is. So Lightroom, using Lightroom, I said, show me this file, this, this image in my folder, and there it is. Okay, now, I import as follows. This is how I go about my import. I'm going to say, I want to create a new directory now called, wild, let me just spell that correctly, wildlife. 2018 because I'm going to start going on trips from next week. I'm going to Kenya now. I've created this folder inside of my computer Will Lightroom see it? No, because I haven't introduced it yet. So 
Before I go on my trips, I create my folders up front, so it makes it a lot easier. I now want to introduce Lightroom to that folder. Next to folders, you've got this little plus sign. Hit the plus sign, add a folder. Lightroom's going to say, okay, cool, which folder would you like to add? You just navigate now to that folder that exists already and say choose. Watch what happens. Lightroom shows it to me, but it's in gray. All right. So if I look over here, there's Wildlife 2017, 2018. 17 has a whole bunch of stuff in it. 2018 does not. Let's check in Lightroom. 2017 has a whole bunch of things in it. Wildlife 2018 has not because I haven't put anything in there yet. Makes sense. So if I now look at what is my first trip that I'm going on, I'm in Wildlife 2018. I think, okay, cool. Let me now create a new folder inside of this one. So I highlight 2018 and I say plus and I say add a folder. Now I'm going to go minimize that one, go into 2018 and I'm say new folder and I'm going to use my same directory structure which works very well for me. 01-jan Masamora and say create. So and I see here that I'm selected. I say choose and Lightroom puts that in. So you can see now there is Wildlife 2018 with my directory for my first trip. Let's see if it echoes inside. If I go to there, 17, 18. So inside of 2018, there is my first trip now. Okay, let's do it the reverse way. I'm going to show you two more things. I now want to add my second and third trips for the year as well. So with 2018 highlighted, I say create a new folder. My next trip happens, I'm going to the US, but I'm not shooting much there. 03-March, let's just do more. And that is also to the Masai Mara, a private guided trip. If I now go to Lightroom, we're not expecting to see this there because it hasn't been introduced yet. So, so I can now go to Wildlife 2018 and say, add a folder, which is already existing. I just navigate to my March one, choose and there it is okay so i'm now building up front my trips for the year if you know you're going to the Khalakhari or to the sabi simply add them before and it becomes a lot easier to manage one more way you can do this you can click on wildlife 2018 and you can say create a subfolder and it's going to put it inside of this and i'm going to do my third one which is 2018-3 also march sabi sands and create there's my three directories because I did it in Lightroom, it'll be there already. Done. So there's many ways in which you can manage your files and directories. As long as you understand, Lightroom can rename, delete, copy, and create folders. But the images live on your hard drive. So how I do it from here is when I now travel to the Masamara next week, I'll manually copy, and I'll do a video for you on this. I'll manually copy my files in there. As I go each night, just copy it. I don't even open Lightroom. Just copy them in there. And then to import, I simply go to that directory, right-click and hit synchronize. That then looks at that folder and imports any new images. That I'll show you in the next video. But guys, the most important thing for this video here is understand that your raw files are separate. They live outside of Lightroom. Lightroom, the program, just reads the images from where they live. You can change the directory names, you can rename them, you can add them, but it's still, Lightroom is just a program that manages the folder structure. If you wrap your head around that, a lot easier. What I'll do in one of the next videos is once I have new images, I'll run you through the import how I do it, and hopefully that makes a little bit of more sense to you. If you guys have any questions, you know where to find me, social media, Jerry Finnevolt, hit me an email, the details at the end of this video, and I will try and include all of your questions in future episodes. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Happy Lightrooming. I'll see you guys next time. My name is Jerry. I'm from Wild Eye. Have a good one.